Hello there, Brianna Dignard here, and welcome to my channel. Today we are getting inspired by nature. That's pretty Scientists neat. and inventors have been inspired by the world around them for thousands of years as they try to fix and solve everyday problems. This is something called biomimicry, where again, you're mimicking something going on in the natural world and trying to recreate it in the lab because the natural world does stuff so much better than humans can manage to do it. So we're gonna embark on a little mini series about biomimicry. And first up, we're gonna be inspired by the humpback whale. Whales have been inspiration for art and science for such a long time. So even here in my background, I've got a lovely whale painting drawing. This is a whale skeleton. I've got some photographs, a poster, this beautiful cross stitch one of my friends made me. Um, whales inspired the shape of submarines. They even inspired sonar, which is how submarines and ships communicate. But what they've also inspired, in particular the humpback whale here and up there in that picture, are actually wind turbines and turbine blades, including fan blades, because what is a wind turbine if not just a giant fan facing in an opposite weird direction? Anyhow, so most fan and wind turbine blades that you look at, you look at your ceiling fan right now, they are smooth. And you may think that if it's all nice and smooth, that means it's more efficient, right? Not exactly so. So a scientist by the name of Frank Fish, oh, actually like more than 20 years ago, took a look at the fins of humpback whales and discovered that on the back of fins of humpback whales, they actually have these bumps and these bumps are called tubercles. And he thought that hmm, maybe these bumps on the back of fins of humpback whales is actually what's responsible for letting them cut through the water so efficiently. So he studied the fluid dynamics of it and discovered, oh my gosh, they actually are a lot more efficient than a smooth blade. So Fish's research on this was published and it attracted the attention of Stephen Dewar and Philip Watts, and they formed this corporation called, or this business called Whale Power, which came up with the design of putting bumps or tubercles on the back of wind turbine blades and on the back of like industrial scale fans. And these wind turbines were actually, with tubercles on them, were able to reduce or were able to improve efficient efficiency by 25% and even continue to make uh, energy in low windy conditions. And then they even have this on fans as well. So these fans with tubercles on the back of them consume less energy and even circulate more air. And they've managed to try to incorporate them into little tiny fans put into computers that cool down your graphic card. So there are all sorts of applications for this technology, and this all came from an unlikely place of the back of humpback whale fins. Amazing. This is just one example, and we're gonna talk about a couple more in the upcoming episodes of this mini series, where nature knew better than scientists. Scientists thought that a smooth fan blade or wind turbine blade was going to be more efficient, but after studying the, one of the most unlikely sources of inspiration, the back of a whale a back of a whale, a back of a fin of a whale, scientists discovered that's not so. And in fact, bumps make a more efficient wind turbine blade. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Next episode on biomimicry is gonna be about slugs. So stay tuned for that. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And again, keep, be excited about the upcoming biomimicry video getting posted on Friday and keep it sciencey. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> but in the lab. So today, <laughs> biomimicry. So. <laughs>